I'm Della Scott Ireton, Associate Director of the Florida Public Archaeology Network. So public archaeology is just involving the public in the research that archaeologists do. The Luna Expedition research that's going on right now is some of the most exciting that's happening, I think, anywhere in the world, certainly in the United States. We're so fortunate that we have both the land component now, which was recently discovered, as well as shipwrecks from the doomed expedition. The Pensacola public has been so invested in and interested in what's been going on since the discovery of the first shipwreck back in 1992. And they've been keeping up with the discoveries, with the work that's going on. From having a member of the public literally discover the land site, uh, Tommy Gardner, and when he realized that the artifacts that he was finding uh, in this neighborhood from excavation trenches for, um, for a new house, uh, he took it immediately to the university and said, hey, I think this is pretty significant. And from that point on, it's just exploded. And keeping the public involved, not only the landowners, but the people of Pensacola, and now all around the country and around the world who are so interested in what's going on is crucial. And we're able to do that in a variety of ways, whether it's lectures and presentations, exhibits of material um, going on display in public places, such as the T.T. Wentworth Museum and the Archaeology Institute Museum, and then getting people out to go and look at the sites. Uh, the land sites is a little tricky because, again, it is private property, and so we want to respect the property owner's uh, wishes. Underwater, actually, shockingly, it's a little bit easier because we can run tours out there. Now, the water is dark. It's only in 12 feet of water, but it's pretty poor visibility. And so uh, we've been running guided tours for advanced level certified divers to the shipwreck sites. Yeah, another way we're able to get the public involved at the land site this summer, especially when the field school was going on, was having a public field lab. And that was at the, uh, the field headquarters, which was a house in the neighborhood that UWF rented specifically for that purpose. So that allowed us to bring volunteers into the field lab and put them to work. Probably one of the most important aspects is the involvement of the neighborhood. And the homeowners in the neighborhood have been so supportive and so amazing through this entire process. And they're so interested in what's going on. And the university has been very careful to keep the landowners apprised of new discoveries, what they're finding, where they're going, asking permission and getting permission to get on private property. And, and it's just been a wonderful partnership. And we appreciate those landowners so much because without them, this couldn't happen.